Stacy Rodriguez is a Lutheran Hospital nurse and mother of two. And last week, she was diagnosed with the flu in COVID-19. On Monday, March 23rd, Lutheran Hospital nurse Stacy Rodriguez was feeling very sick. Her chest was heavy and she had a dry cough with a low-grade fever. She was also experiencing shortness of breath. While Rodriguez is too ill to talk with us, her co-worker and friend Amanda Browning has been giving us updates that Rodriguez has been texting her. She shared that Rodriguez got tested for coronavirus that Monday with a long Q-tip swab up her nostril. Basically, she said they, it felt like they touched her brain when they went through her nose. And was diagnosed with the flu and COVID-19 three days later. Her chest hurts. It's difficult to breathe. She does have to have oxygen on currently. For somebody that's a pretty healthy person on a normal basis, that's kind of rough for her. You know, she's just she's struggling to breathe. That's the biggest part of it, and she's worried. Yesterday, Rodriguez shared that she's having coughing fits, and it's harder and harder to breathe. Her entire body aches, especially her chest. She feels miserable. While in quarantine at the hospital, doctors have prescribed her an anti-malaria drug and antibiotic. It's definitely very scary. I mean, to have a, somebody that's so close to us actually have something like this happen to them, it's, it's scary, especially when you hear all the frightening reports that come out about it. But to hear from her perspective of what's happening, it really puts things in, things in the perspective of why everybody does need to stay home and just protect themselves. Rodriguez's friends report that today she is feeling a little bit better, but still has a lot of healing ahead of her. Reporting in Fort Wayne, Kiter K, Wayne 15 News.